Hey, hey guys, happy Monday. I'm not entirely sure whether this live's gonna work properly because, well, you may have seen on the news actually, we are currently having a ridiculous um, Kalima, which is a sandstorm. Um, and we've had a hurricane force winds and all sorts. So um, it's still going on today, so you might be able to hear it. And I'm not entirely sure whether this will work or not, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So I hope you're ready for an amazing week. Give me a hey if you're watching live. Give me a hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Um, today I want to talk to you about something actually that someone said in a comment in reply to a post that I wrote on my profile um, last week or the week before. So I was talking about the fact that we get what we expect and so if we expect not to make sales we're not going to make them. And they commented about, but we also can't hold on to the sale either. And it was a really valid sort of response and I wanted to talk about my opinions on that and share with you my thoughts on it. So this is the thing, right? When I talk about expecting the sale, I talk about it from the aspect of when you step into expectation from the right mindset and you combine it with everything else around it, it isn't about expecting every single sale to be a yes. Because when you do that, then you tend to go into a situation where you're gonna hold on to that sale. What expecting sales to happen is, is more about the fact that the sales that you desire are always going to happen for you. There's always going to be people that want and are ready to buy from you. So actually when you step into the right type of expectation, you don't need to hold on to those sales. Because if you, with a version of you that was already making the sales that you desire, which would come from the expectation that you make those sales, you wouldn't need to be holding on to the sale. We hold on to the sale when we are worried about where our sales are coming from, when we don't know where our next sale is coming from, when we're not sure whether somebody's going to buy from us, when we desperately need that sale. That's when we hold on to the sale, right? Um, whereas when we step into expectation from the right space and we combine it with everything else around it, which also includes stepping into the version of you who's already there, then we don't need to hold on to those sales because we're not worried about where our next sale is coming from. We're not worried about the fact that nobody's buying from us. We're not worried about any of that stuff because it isn't the reality that we would be operating from. It isn't the reality that you would be living in, right? So you don't need to hold on to the sale. So when I talk about expecting the sale, I'm not talking about it from the point of you then go into every single call or every single conversation or every single person that visits your page with this holding on expectation of everybody's got to buy from me. That isn't it, right? It's about stepping into the positive expectation, the space where you don't worry where those sales are coming from, the space where you completely 100% have complete faith, trust, and everything, and the fact that if you play your role, and if you show up and take action on your strategy, those sales are going to come in. In one way, shape, or form, they're gonna come in. Whether it's this person you're speaking to or the one after, it doesn't matter. You don't have the same level of worry um, about those sales coming in and that's the key difference for me so when we talk about expecting something it is about expecting it from the right space and when we think about you know who we would be when when those sales were effortlessly coming in we wouldn't be worried we wouldn't be holding on to those sales and that's the point and that's kind of the thing with everything right it's the same with expecting to attract people who value you. That doesn't mean that every single person that comes your way is going to be able to afford you. The fact is there will still be people who can't, but that's okay because you are operating from the space where you attract more of the people who do value you and who can afford you than who don't. So again, you're not holding on to that one person who does, or you're not holding on to everybody needs to value me. You're operating from the space where that is your reality and it's okay if that one person doesn't. So it really is about stepping into the expectation from the positive and from understanding the expectation also goes together with other things instead of it just being, oh, I expect to make every single sale. Because when you say that expectation, you can run the risk if you haven't done, if, if you haven't stepped into it sort of from the right space, you do sort of run the risk of stepping into that expectation from the place where you would hold on to every single lead that came your way, where you would hold on to every single sales conversation. And when that sale didn't happen, you would then question the expectation. 
expecting and stepping into that space is about doing it from the from the place that you don't need to hold on to that stuff because it isn't your reality anymore you don't need to hold on to because there's always enough sales coming your way you don't need to hold on to that one person who doesn't value you because there's always more people to do it's about coming from that type of space and that's really what we're going to cover in the expect program so the 12 week group program that gets started on the 16th of march that is pretty much what we actually focus on we focus on stepping into these expectations from the right space we focus on stepping into these expectations also combining them with the mindset the stepping into the vision of you and also the actual sort of action taking side of things that would enable all these expectations to happen you know so many people say I'd love to be waking up to sales in the morning and yet they don't actually have the strategy of going on around it or they're not taking the action that would mean that that stuff can happen. So we combine the expectation with everything else around it, meaning that you end up in a situation where you're not worrying about sales or any of that stuff, you're not holding on to it, but yet just seeing all of those results. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, you can drop me a message or comment below and I can send you the full information about it. So um, yeah, <clears throat> It's um, half term year this week, actually. So our half term year, I think, is different to everybody that's in the UK. Um, and I don't think the US get a half term, although I could be wrong. So um, I'm actually only working a three day this week. So, but anyway, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of really talk about that because the, you know, the, the comment was valid. And I think lots of people do sort of struggle with that sort of balance between, well, you know, on the one hand, I'm told not to hold on to the sale. On the other hand, I'm told that I should expect sales. How do I possibly sort of juggle the expectation without holding on to it? And it really is about combining the expectation with everything else around it um, versus sort of um, just having the expectation and coming from that sort of stressful space. It is coming from the space of that expectation is your reality and is combined with everything else around it, which means you don't have to worry because if you were already in the space that you want to be earning the money you want to be earning, you wouldn't be worrying about where that next sale is coming from, right? So the logic and the principle applies that you would need to be bringing that into your life right now. So the expectation is about holding on, is about creating the space where you don't need to hold on. So if you want information about the 12-week program, send me a message. Um, otherwise, I hope you have an amazing Monday, I hope you get off to an amazing start, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.